sponsored by Mount Pleasant Magazine. They're two great magazines that go great together, but what does it take to put them together? We welcome Ann Toole and Helen Harris. <laughs> Ladies, good to see you. Nice We've got you. Mount Pleasant Magazine and Low Country Cuisine Magazine. Mm -hmm. So each of you were thrilled to talk to you first. I'll start with you, Helen. You have your latest summer issue that's out. Mm -hmm. It's free. Right, that you yes. guys can pick up around town. What's your favorite thing in there this time? Um, we had some really good uh, articles this edition, but one of my favorites is the history of baseball in East Cooper. Um, it talks about how it's evolved since in the last like 60 years, and so okay. um, we have some his historical take on that. And um, Brian Sherman wrote that article, and he did a really fantastic job yeah, on that article. That's so interesting. Where do you guys come up with your ideas um, that you come in baseball? Dana Coleman, mm -hmm. um, he has some ties to the community mm -hmm. with that. And um, Brian Sherman has just been talking to me about that. Yeah. And they've both been here for a while. Yeah. So I just hit the ground running with yeah. it. So that's yeah. what's in Mount Pleasant Magazine right now. And Anne, you do Low Country mm -hmm. Cuisine. What's your that's favorite right. thing in your latest issue? We have a lot of neat things for mm -hmm. people to read about, whether you need ideas for brunch or places to see rooftops and have a drink. Yeah. Um, but I think my favorite is the history of barbecue. Um, it's Mary Coy wrote it. Mm -hmm. And it's a polarizing topic when you think about the sauces with you know, some people are staunch, got to have mustard barbecue. Yes. Other people are only vinegar barbecue. Yeah. And so there's actually a really neat map in there where you can see the different sections of the state and it explains where it comes why from. Yeah. Places. Is Charleston, are we the mustard based one? We are right on the line. Oh, oh. so that's why people so get so fired up. Charleston is mustard, and then on the other side of the river is the vinegar based barbecue. But can um, you say what your favorite is so you don't want to you know, like, offend anyone? <laughs> I, I mix them both, actually, <laughs> there you which go. is perfect, and that was true for me. So yeah, I nice. think that would be interesting for readers to see where they match up. That's so funny. So how yeah. does it work? Are you guys in the same office? Like, how do you not you know, infringe on someone else's content? Like, how do you decide what goes in what magazine? So um, and and in charge of Low Country Cuisine. Yeah. And so this was really her first issue, taking the lead on that. Yeah. And so um, we all collaborate on the story ideas, the mm -hmm. content, but um, she's really in charge of, you know, reaching out to the writers, mm -hmm. making sure that the theme of each story is on mm -hmm. par, and then we continue with the editorial process from there. And she does work, um, you know, off-site, but mm -hmm. yeah. it, it all works it pretty all works seamlessly. Yeah. So we, I asked Helen where she got her baseball idea. Where do you get your ideas? Because there's so much food in Charleston. Like, how do you pick and choose? It's, it's collaborative. Yeah. You know, we, we talk about ideas and meetings with our sales team and the other writers always bring up ideas. Mm -hmm. But even, you know, people, um, there's some mom groups I'm mm -hmm. in on Facebook yeah. who mm -hmm. are always asking, where can I find this? Or, you know, I've got family in town. And yeah. so those ideas, we kind of put them together, have a big old list and yeah. whatever seems appropriate for the season. Well, I feel like I get that too, you know, being in the show, like where do I eat when I'm in town? And it's mm -hmm. sometimes overwhelming when you're a local, you're like, I don't know, there's so many places. Yeah. And so everybody says, that. well, what's your favorite restaurant? Yeah. And I say, that's a loaded question. Yeah. It depends on who mm -hmm. you're with. It depends on what you want to do. Are you going out for a quiet night? Or are you celebrating mm -hmm. something? There's so it's many options, different. so many options. We're kind of flipping through the magazine, Sander oh, behind yeah. the scenes <laughs> showing us. So both of these are free. Where can we pick them up? I know you're all over, but just some spots. Um, I know they're available at all the Harris Teeters. Harris Teeters, um, okay. I know Pager's Okra Grill carries them, mm -hmm. as well as other local restaurants around Mount Pleasant. Mm -hmm. Publix, um, we, too. Publix, Publix too. Okay. And they are available via direct mail if you email either Bill or I. That's great. Um, publisher at Mount Pleasant Magazine or editor at Mount Pleasant That's Magazine. That's the way to go. So. Get it in the mail. Yeah. Thank you, ladies, so much. Thank I was going to talk to you. Also, go on the website, and I know you two are giving away all those great recipes yes. with different chefs, so definitely check it out. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We've got more Low Country Live, the second half hour right after this.